Hi dears, welcome to Sri Vidya. This is Bhavani from Department of Physics in Sri Vidya Study Circuit. Today we have to discuss previous polyset paper. Already we know that Nana, polyset conduct 150 marks. Out of 150, physics having 30 marks. Today we have to discuss few bits of polyset paper. First bit, conductivity. Here given resistance power minus 1, current power minus 1 and potential power minus 1, resistivity power minus 1. Here given conductivity, we observe Vt, then we have to choose resistivity. Then conductivity generally sigma is equal to 1 by resistivity. is equal to resistivity power minus 1. Okay, Nana. Conductivity, it means current flowing through the substance. Then it opposes resistivity. Conductivity is equal to resistivity power minus 1. Then select option D. Next. Already we know the least distant of distinct vision. Directly we choose first option is 25 centimeter. Least distant of distant division is denoted by L. Least it means we can see the at which distance we can see the clear image of the object that is called least distant of distant division. Here given 25 meters, 25 millimeters, 25 centimeters, and 25 kilometers. In I, we have to measure centimeters, then option is C, 25 centimeters. Okay, Nana? Next, third one, the resistance of a human body varies between, first directly we choose the option, that is 100 ohm to 5 lakh ohm, because we learn in electric shock, human body varies 100 ohms to 5 lakh ohm. Then direct bit option delhi. Focal length of a lens is given 25 cm. Its power of lens is option is C. Already we know that focal length is equal to one by power in meters and Power is equal to 100 by focal length in centimeters. 100 by focal length is given 25 directly. 100 by 25 we get 4 diopters. Option C. Next one. When a person is suffering from myopia and hypermetropia, which should be used? Option is bifocal lens. Why we are selecting bifocal lens? Myopia can be rectified by using biconvex and hypermetropia can be rectified by using biconvex and here bifocal lens means one surface is prepared by convex and another one is prepared by concave. Then a person suffered from myopia and hypermetropia can be rectified by using bifocal lens. Then option C. Next the current in a conductor I is directly proportional to potential difference between ends V. This is called Ohm's law. Faraday's law. Kirchhoff law, Ohm's law, Newton's law are the given options. Faraday's law means The rate of change of magnetic flux is always directly proportional to the current generated in the coil. Magnetic flux means phi. phi. The rate of change of flux d phi by dt is directly proportional to induced EMF. Then here given relation is current and potential difference. Kirchhoff law. Kirchhoff law explains two laws. One is current law and another one loop law. It Proposed individually. Next, Ohm's law. Already we know that potential difference between two ends is always directly proportional to current. Then we select option C, Ohm's law. 
Newton's law. Newton's law base three laws. It will be applied on human body or blocks or strings or tension. Then we are selecting option C. Next, units of seventh one, na units of specific resistance. Ohm meter, ohm by meter, meter by ohm, ohm kg. Option is ohm meter. Specific resistance is denoted by rho. Rho is equal to formula R A by L. R is equal to resistance. Resistance is ohm. Area is equal to meter square by length is meter. Meter meter cancel. We get ohm meter. Then option A is correct. Next, when a copper wire is connected to a battery, the electric field in the wire is. options more at positive terminal more at negative terminal not uniform in the white and uniform in the white the correct option is more at positive terminal because when a copper wire is connected to battery battery set up the charge direction into ordered motion here electron generally move negative terminal to positive terminal Electric field direction is opposite to the electron direction. Then electric field adjusts more at positive terminal. Okay, number ninth one. A current through a conductor is two amperes. Amperes means I is equal to two amperes. When there is a potential difference of ten volts, V is equal to ten volts. Then R is equal to question mark. First, the given option is five ohms. According to Ohm's law, V is equal to I R. Then R is equal to V by I. V is equal to ten volts and I is equal to two amperes. Ten by two gives five ohms. Then option A is correct. Next, force into length by charge is equal to which quantity? Potential, current. Resistance and capacity. First, correct option is potential because force into length by charge. Force into length is means force into length is measured in meters. Displacement is also measured in meters. Then force into length is equal to work. Work by charge gives potential. It is denoted by V. V is equal to potential. Then option A is correct. We have to discuss remaining bits in next class. Bye, all of you.